हरि ओम वेलकम टू दी नाइन्थ एपिसोड वी टॉक अबाउट रेस्पॉन्स रिएक्शन इन द लास्ट एपिसोड वेरी क्लोजली कनेक्टेड विद द सेम थिंग विच वी फेज ऑन अ डेली बेसिस वी आर फेजिंग दीज इशूज ऑन अ डेली बेसिस एंड मेनी टाइम वी डोंट नो हाउ टू हैंडल अवर सेल्स हाउ टू adjust how to uh, you know remain at peace because it disturbs the peace uh, i have an expectation from my son i tell him something he doesn't find it interesting that is the things have changed he would have liked it before today he doesn't appreciate it he doesn't uh, respond the way he should and i feel hurt i am so hurt that unnecessarily i start thinking of various other things which is not true you know oh he doesn't care he has become very big now I, he is not dependent on me so he is trying to do all this you know there could be very and it could be with anyone it could be with your wife it could be with your subordinate on a daily basis you are faced with this situation and every day there is an occasion where you feel slightly hurt it could be other side also somebody is talking bad about you and you feel my god you have done so much and that person is talking like this to me so that could be a reason right it could be either way but this hurt feeling is very common on a daily basis and it disturbs the peace how do you insulate your your whole thing because This is a common happening. You have to, and you go on. You know, you should be able to move on, and then tomorrow look at him, smile at him, and it should be absolutely normal. Uh, you may do it with your family. You are not able to easily do it with outsider. How do you insulate yourself in a way, or train your mind in such a way that we can overcome this kind of feelings? Uh, this is a very important point in the three levels of our life: family, profession, and society. The foremost thing is if there is a method by which we don't feel hurt. Correct. Even when anything happens, we don't put the label "I, I am hurt." Mm. So how to do that during our half hours? We have to do some prompting. Otherwise, you know, at that particular moment, it will not be in our control. So, during our leisure hours, suppose we start thinking, uh, some, some, a mother and the child. Suppose we watch, the child keeps on pestering with this and that. How does she take it? She doesn't feel hurt. So, she may also shout at some time, but the child knows there is no hurting there. So that means there should there should be some system by which. We we remove the we remove the label. That is one aspect. Keep on thinking. That means we try to recognize that uh, as you have the power to form your judgment, others also have equally the right to form their own judgment. Hmm. No matter whether they are young or old. No matter whether they are our superior officers or subordinates. So the we keep on thinking about it. Just like we have been given given the option, we have been we we have been training ourselves that we have the power to judge. Same thing can be there, no? The moment we start accepting that, slowly probably we may be able to put a control on rushing up with our judgment. Even if they say. we will not try to uh, bring it under this hurting because out of ignorance out of immaturity probably because of their tension at home like that you know because our love is there for him he shouting because something is wrong gone wrong in his home that's all in the workplace he must have so let him cool down we will ask him we have seen many such incidents If immediately we will not also not shout. After some time we call him. What happened to you, man? <laughs> Then he will remain sorry. I I was in a bad mood. Right? 
I had this problem, I had that problem. When I started, you know, my wife said, this is something. That was in my mind. So that had, that had clouded my understanding. Like that, you know, so we give a pause. We don't react immediately. And then we don't, we don't, we try to avoid the labeling of hurting. Mm. When, you, when you look at a person on a fra fragment, that we differ with him, under person. But there are many things which we agree with him, you know. When these two things are brought together, probably the hurting tendency might get reduced. So the problem, what we feel is that uh, we try to remove the word hurting. We don't, we don't react immediately. Because as you rightly put, hurt, hurt mind will give only hurting. You know, that, that it will come, uh, it will express itself in the form of hurting others. So this is the background. This is the investment we have made, hurting. And then it goes back in the form of hurting. That is the divide. Yeah. Uh, so let us not try to, let us not try to bring the word hurting as much as possible. And whenever I have seen, whenever it crosses the limit, you know, yeah. the best method is to keep quiet. Correct. Yeah, some keep quiet because I love you to settle down. Yeah, some keep quiet because of anger. <laughs> I love you to settle down and then you will find the, the incident which we shared about that uh, uh, competitor's product there, you know, when we wrote that letter, when we drafted that letter, the assistant manager called and said, why should you think that he had done it deliberately? Correct. Ah. So when he made us to bring out so many other, there is a cause. What he has done is not in line with the agreement, agreed. It is mm. against the ethics. But at the same time, why should we think it was deliberately done? There could be some compulsion, some oversight. And nobody is perfect. Everybody, all of us are not free from all those things. Correct. In Malayalam, there is a poem which we learned. Martinu Kaipida Janma Sitam. To err is human. Suppose we keep on bringing this into our mind, we will not probably feel hurt every time. And there may be some which we we may have to we may have to act that we are hurt that's all. But actually we don't feel hurt. In an administration, why should you say like that? You can always say that. We don't feel hurt, but we act as if we have been hurt. So that we we, we whatever comes out of us will not have the uh, stamping of this hurting. Mm. So these are all some of the methods we have to employ while reacting to And we, we keep on mentioning this. All these things will be relevant only when we try to uh, dwell upon these facts during our non-challenging time. Correct. At that particular time, it will not come. Unless there is a proper training of our mind. Otherwise, we will immediately react. Not that we mean anything bad, but it will immediately. But one so person... Mean, yeah. huh? Tell me one thing, you know... One person, uh, yeah. one person uh, out of his sincerity and loyalty, he has these short number. Highly short number. He will not tolerate even a small thing. And he, he, he blurts it out. It, it wounds others. It hurts others. So when this was brought before Puja Swamiji, he tried many times. It is not proper. And finally, you know, he also acted as if he was, he was hurt. He said, if this is repeated, I will in, impose upon something which for which you will regret for the whole of your lifetime. He is not punishing others. Immediately the man realized. He went and apologized to the person whom he has hurt. Came back. Matter got hurt. So at times, in, in, we may have to, for, uh, for uh, administrative reasons, we may have to put up a show, but we don't feel hurt. We will we okay. put in... Swami, tell me one thing. You know, Anandasham has been doing so much good for so many people. And Mataji was like that. And many of the people would have taken the benefits and not even bother to acknowledge it or even talk bad about it and all that. What was that 
mind mindset which could um, insulate mata ji from such uh, hurt feeling not coming or you know how how could she because it is not 1% 2% it was so many people she used to do that, good that, that is because by god's grace she was able to find there is no otherness Uh, just like a mother and the child relationship the child even if behaves anything the mother does not get it feel it hurt so that means the absence of otherness is developed because of spiritual practices where we we treat everybody equally we uh, we find it is our role to do that sort and everything will become unconditional ah uh, when you do it unconditionally there is no expectation no Exactly. Whether you acknowledge, just like you know, God has actuated our life. He is the originator of our life. God is not a person; is the power. So He has actuated our life. But so far, we have not recognized Him inside. But still, He is not feeling hurt. Even <laughs> if we, ah, even if we um, uh, ignore Him, even if we don't respect Him, even if we don't recognize Him. even if we deny him even if we insult him he does not go out because you and i when we start going to our uh, origin we will find that uh, ultimately it is the, not the parent parents are only instrumental process but the, that power started bijam mam sarva bhutana so he is there he has been with me but he doesn't expect anything from me if i realize this my life also becomes like that that was how people who have scaled the heights like pooja mata ji they were able to make us know this is possible even when you are in the embodied self with all your limitation it is possible it is possible that means art of whatever thoughts words and deeds that emanate from me it should be unconditional uh-huh. then the question of feeling hurt will not be there at all it is something on which you have to keep on practicing so a little bit of going deeper into the biographical sketches of masters who with whom we we have been uh, able to get in touch with and who have inspired us we try to understand how they were able to scale the heights and they did undergo so many disciplines and uh, we 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 try that 5% 10% 15% like that we will be also moving straightly we may not be able to get 100% correct but it is possible so the absence of otherness the we keep de- developing it most of our problems our uh, uh, problems emanating from our relationship with the rest of the creation that will uh, get uh, dwindled that will get you know solved be very great action very great action let me there come the spiritual perspective yeah. so so probably even the chanting of the nama which we we do in ananda ashram Uh, probably will lead us to that uh, kind of a uh, approach also chanting chant, chanting of the nama is to remind us of the common denominator in all of us the moment we identify the common denominator the uh, question of me me and other it will not be there okay. it will be the there is automatically common denominator so the other must vanishes in a way nama. Crux is the absence of otherness. That is the only solution for everything. Mm-hmm. Unconditional serv- service, not feeling hurt, not reacting to events and individuals impulsively. All these things will come only when this absence of otherness slowly wells up in our mind, and which has its impact on all our thoughts, words, deeds, at family level, professional level, social level. The challenge is there. and one more attitude is there whatever we learn from the masters is called uh, sadhana daily sadhana unless it is tested how will it become mine so the daily life is given only to test so somebody behaves in a particular manner not because he is bad or something he is giving me an opportunity to test myself <laughs> yeah you have to you have to stop it if i can graduate to that extent all these things will get solved that is only at a least, test at least 
at least get pass marks pass marks that is very much that is enough i don't want like a plus to very very yes it is a, because these are things that happen on a daily basis <laughs> how do you uh, manage it is very relevant very relevant whether we are nashram or not every day all these things will be there so we are guided by these words daily life and daily sadhana are interconnected you need a daily sadhana to improve the quality of your life you need the daily life to test and prove it as your own always it is philosophy it is academic unless and until it is given when you shout if i don't shout i will not say that uh, oh ramesh has shouted me as ramesh is offering me an opportunity to test myself then immediately you laugh i laugh that's all we have to raise to that level yes, we have yes, to difficult yes. constant constant hammering will definitely help us yeah i agree course so one is about the uh, not being this not seeing somebody as other and you know that is one aspect of it and then of course i think the nama chanting and all that could bring in that that uh, you know uh, stability to the mind which could give the power and uh, look at it as uh, yeah it, it is it is to be practiced because these are okay. feelings which come very often and you ah. feel depressed and you feel you know uh, time because you as you said the expectation is probably the biggest problem you know the, the expectation thank you so much i think it is uh, very very uh, it is a great discussion which which throws light and which helps people like us thank you very much hari om ji sri ram ji ram ji ram